Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this lesson, we're going to study the basics of graphing. And here I have y equals x plus 2, an equation that has two variables, y and x. And of course, then, y and x both can vary. They can get different values, and the equation can still be true. For example, if x is 0, then y can be 2. But if x takes some other value, then y will have some other value too. So there's multitudes of possible solutions to this equation. And therefore, we often plot the solution set as a single graph here in the coordinate plane. But let us first look at this table here, where I put many possible values of x. If x is negative 5, then I'll put negative 5 here in place of x. Negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3. That's what y would be. It would be negative 3, and then that would make that equation true. Similarly, if x is negative 4, I put it here, I get y would be negative 2. And if x is negative 3, y would be negative 1. And so on. You can see here how the y values are increasing by 1. So my next value is 0, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Even in the table, you can see this general rule that the y values are always two more than the x values. Just like the equation says, y value is always x plus 2, or two more than the x value. And now, of course, each one of these is now one point in the coordinate plane, because it is a, an ordered pair. It is a pair of numbers. There's an x and there's an y. x coordinate, y coordinate. So each one of these is one point. I can now plot the points here to make a graph for the solution set of this equation. Let's start here at negative 5, negative 3. x equals negative 5 would be this one, and y, negative 3, somewhere here. And then negative 4, negative 2. Then negative 3, negative 1, and so on. 0, 2, 1, 3, and so on. You can see this would go in order. But I'm not going to plot them all this time, because I'm going to actually draw a line. And to draw a line, I only would need two points, actually. And the reason I'm going to draw a line is because even between negative 5 and negative 4, there are possible values for x. There's fractions and decimals between these two. Or between 0 and 1, there's all kinds of fractions that x could be. x could be 1 half, or 1 third, 1 fourth, whatever. And there would be corresponding y values for each of those two. And so when I draw a line, I will catch them all, so to speak. There. Now this line is the solution set to this equation. It contains all the, sol all the possible solutions to this equation, even the fractional ones, because if x is 1 half, then there is a corresponding y value to 1 half here, this dot here on the line. Let's do the same with this one, y equals negative 2x plus 1. I will first of all find some possible x values. I just chose any x values I want, but I chose them in order, and then we will calculate the y values. If x is negative 5, then you put negative 5 here, okay? So you get negative 2 times negative 5. That's 10 plus 1 would be 11. And then if, it, if x is negative 4, we would get, here we would get 8 plus 1 equals 9. And then if, it, if x is negative 3, I get 6 plus 1 equals 7. And then you can see how the y values are now decreasing by 2s. I get 5, 3, 1, negative 1, negative 3, negative 5, negative 7, negative 9, negative 11. And uh, you can check, for example, for 0, it is easy to check. You get 0 plus 1 equals 1. Yeah, matches. And now let's plot at least a few of these points and then draw the line. 0, 1 is an easy point to plot. And then 1 negative 1. And then here, negative 1, 3. Okay, that's enough for plotting. I'll just draw the line now. There, so this is the graph of the equation y equals negative 2x plus 1. 
just like this is the graph of the y equals x plus 2. 